man i got hat hair welcome back to the channel everybody jeez it's been a while i think it's been over two months since i've actually made a video this one's cool because this one i'm officially introducing my forever mr2 and uh i actually picked this up before i even sold the red one which the red one is sold now and it's gone um i picked this one up and this is a 95 na so naturally aspirated no turbo which kind of disappointing that's the most disappointing part about this car but don't worry there's uh there's plans in the future for that to fix that issue um but for now it has the regular 2.2 non-turbo i mean it's a fun car to drive it's a little torquey at the low end um i definitely beat the crap out of this one um drive it like i stole it but uh yeah so this is my 95 na which is hard to find in the first place 95 in the u.s because there weren't that many made i don't know the exact numbers and stuff like that but whatever i'm sure you guys can look it up or maybe i'll post it on the screen if i find it but anyway so i picked this car up uh it's actually been like four months three four months since i got the car if you follow me on the instagram which if you don't again it's right here I'm not sure why you don't by now but um follow me on there because i've actually been posting pictures of it left and right and uh, stuff like that so if you follow me on there you would have already known about this car but if not this is my this is my forever mr2 i'm never gonna get rid of this one this one this thing is mint um i actually bought it from a family member he bought it a couple years ago two or three years ago he had it completely restored all this car was actually which is really kind of weird but it was in a involved in a fire um not the car itself it i'll post pictures up you know as i'm having this conversation but um it was maybe parked next to a car that was on fire or maybe a, a house fire or something like that i don't know if by any weird chance the owner or the previous owner of this car it was purchased in cali if by any chance the previous owner is watching this video or someday sees this video i would love to know what happened to it but um so yeah it was bought like this and uh, it was completely restored i mean all new parts bought from the toyota dealer one of the last i want to say it was the last front bumper like the last in the u.s and i know i've heard that said before um, but I think that's what the guy told if the family member that I bought it from that it was the last one So OEM front bumper OEM front 95 lip um, And then their taillights had to be replaced because they were <laughs> literally melted um, some of the trim pieces on the passenger side And then the car was stripped down and completely repainted the original code white but with clear coat none of that single single stage crap um, so yeah, but so the car is pretty pretty dang mint the interior had its seats um, reupholstered at some point. Also, um, it has like the custom shift boot that also matches the seat color. Um, it's pretty, okay, you know what? I'm not even gonna say that. It's not It's not all original. It's uh, lowered on KYB shocks and Tain springs, Tain, Tain, however you say it. Um, it has drilled and slotted rotors all around, the ceramic pads. Um, has like a cheap Amazon little $70 stereo it worked it does the job it has screen share and uh, Bluetooth and all that it is giving me some weird buzzing sound through the speaker so I'm still trying to figure out if, you know the ground issue or if I need some sort of an isolator or whatever it might be trying to figure that out still but for now I don't even really care um, this is definitely not a garage queen I mean it gets parked in the garage but it also gets driven I take it out at least a couple times a week um, I, I enjoy this car I take it for drives I beat the crap out of it obviously toyota reliability um, i mean i don't mind if i blow this engine up don't tell my wife but it's gonna get swapped sometime soon ish um, but anyways i'm saving up for that we'll talk about that what swap i'm going with and what i'm actually doing later on in the t in, in in the year but yeah um this is my 95 na i hope you guys like the car it's pretty dang mint um these are the wheels i, I didn't come on these wheels when it was purchased it had the original 95s which I might be throwing back on because I like these wheels, but they are 18s. I don't remember the exact specs. They're 18s, and it rides a little rough. So I kind of want to go down to 17s, so I'm up with the 95s back on and then get some 17s. I'll either keep these or sell them. I'm not even sure. I have other cars they fit, so I might might as well just keep them. But, um, yeah, so these are 18s. Now, they're ESR. I don't remember the exact name of them. Again, if I find it, I'll post it on screen. If not, my bad. Um, they are 18s staggered. Um, it rides a little rough, so I definitely want to go down to 17s. Plus, that will give me a little lower. I have coilovers that are going to be going on the car this winter. Um, as I'm filming this, it's what's today's date? Like November, mid mid of November or something like that. And it's going to come out <laughs> soon after I film it. But anyways, 
Um, so this winter when the car officially gets put in the garage, because I'm not going to drive it obviously through snowy weather and stuff, it's not that I don't trust myself, it's I don't trust people around me, which is the reason a lot of people put their cars away for winter. But So anyway, so when we put it away for winter, there's going to be a lot of little upgrades like coilovers, new wheels, hopefully new wheels, maybe not, maybe I'll wait till spring for the wheels, but um, yeah, so coilovers for sure. Um, I have some really cool lighting upgrades that are on the cheap, but it's on par with like $400 HID headlights. You you guys will see it. It's freaking amazing. It's all plug and play, bolt in. I'm gonna. Do, I think that's gonna be the next video. Is all the lighting upgrades because these lights suck, and it does get dark earlier now. By like five o'clock, it's pitch black. So I need to be able to see when I'm driving this thing. Other than that, I mean, I hope you enjoyed the little walk around. This video is not going to be too long. I just wanted to introduce it to the channel finally so I can start working on it and actually doing mods because I've been kind of not doing anything for that reason, trying to find time, but work and just busy life and everything going on in this crazy country of ours, the US of A. So it's been a little tough trying to find some time and the weather's starting to be terrible. It's windy as heck today. Um, I actually had a lot better shots, but the wind kept shaking the camera, so it kind of sucks. But I'm going to do the best that I can, put this little video together. If you guys like what you see, definitely consider subscribing, because there's a lot of stuff going to come to this car. Um, hit that little bell, it'll let you know. And, as I'm filming this video, we are almost at 1,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you guys enough. This is amazing. This year has been crazy. Again, like I always say, you know, a 1,000 might not be much or mean anything to a lot of other people but for me that's pretty that's that was the goal that i had for this year and i would love to hit it i'm i think i'm at like 985 six or something like that so i would definitely love to hit a thousand this year so if you guys could and only if you want to you don't have to obviously but if you want to subscribe that would be awesome help me out and then uh the mods will be starting i have a lot of plans a lot a lot of good stuff um, this car is definitely pretty dang mint. I mean, it's completely repainted. Like, all the trim, everything is really nice on it. So we're not going to be... This is not going to be a wide body stance build, nothing like that. This is going to be a clean, tastefully modified car that I can drive all year, anywhere I want to go. Um, maybe not in snow, obviously, because I'm not trying to snap it into a tree. But... I want to be able to drive this thing anytime. I want to be able to get in. It's going to have all the creature comforts. You know, I'm not gutting the interior or nothing like that. It's super rare, you know, tan interior and stuff like that. So, which I personally love this color, combina color combination is actually my absolute favorite. A white on tan. I've always wanted a tan interior car. Um, finally got one. So I'm excited about that. Again, thank you guys for all the love and support I've had this year. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me right here. Um, consider subscribing if you like what you see if you like this car i still have my jetta i will post an update on that very soon it's been getting engine work done and that's been kind of a mess and a headache i still have the bmw the e38 the 740 not a lot of people care about that and i can understand why it was pretty stock it has been modified a bit um so i'll probably do an update video on that as well and some changes that are coming to the channel itself other than that, man, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate everything. Again, follow me on Instagram. Comment, like, share, subscribe. You know, all the good <laughs> things that everybody says on, on YouTube. Um, thank you guys for watching. Good to be back again. And, uh, man, I hope 2021 is going to be even better than 2020 was. See you guys later.